everybody, how are you? I'd like to start out by asking that you please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit that notifications button. You hit the notifications button, you will receive a notification every time I post a video. That way you can like, leave questions, leave comments below. Talk to me, people. I want some communication. Talk to me. Leave questions and comments below. Okay, I'm doing a book review on the Practical Witches Spell Book for Love, Happiness, and Success. And I always get this uh, author's name wrong. Sergwin Greenlee, Illustrations by Myra Penny. Now, I'm going to say this up front. I love a book with pretty illustrations and this this is a pretty little book and here's the front of the book here's the back of the book okay I'm gonna read the back a charmed intro introduction to everyday witchcraft what does it mean to be a practical witch it's all about tapping into an inner place of intention energy and empowerment to bring about positive energy and positive change in your life and those of your loved ones. This enchanted guide is for spellcasters of all levels with hundreds of spells, blessings, and rituals for love and happiness, success and prosperity, health and healing, money and career, and more. Now you can enrich your mind and spirit by bringing in an abundance of joy and magic to your daily life. This book costs $17 purchased on Amazon. This is first page. Okay. Where, I just like the colors and everything used in this book. Okay, the table of contents. It gives you a chapter by chapter walkthrough. Chapter one, essential tools for making magic. Chapter two, setting up your altar. Chapter three, good spells and for healing. Chapter four, rituals for romance and love. Chapter five, money, magic, and lucky charms. Chapter 6, House Magic for a Happy Home. Chapter 7, Conjuring with Candles. Chapter 8, Moon Spells and Celestial Magic. Chapter 9, Pagan Parties and Sacred Sabbaths. Chapter 10, Spells for Every Day. Now, I'm going to start by saying that if you've watched any of my videos, you know that these little tabs mean I love a book if there are a ton of them in it. And there aren't a ton of little tabs in this book. So, I just, I like it. It's okay. Okay, I'm going to read a couple of the spells in the book to you. That way, you'll know if this is something for you or not. Before you spend your money. So, there's a sweeping change spell. Say this chant around as you harness the power of your magical broom. And it has the little chant here. And it pretty much... Um, your, tells you the Wiccan tradition holds brooms in high regard and some witches have an impressive collection of brooms each name to distinguish better between their various roles as familiars or kindred spirits once you have found, found your preferred broom I recommend, recommend that you break it in with the following spell that's what that spell is for the sweeping chain spell and if there's an incantation under here for that pretty simple there's a spell called the Banishing Broom Spell. After a negative event in your neighborhood or home, sprinkle salt outside your front door and pray aloud. And then it has the incantation. So everything in it's pretty simple. Let's show you this. This is okay. Let's see. Here is another. Charging your ritual tools with tools with magic. Okay. You will need an object to represent each of the four elements, air, fire, water, and earth. For example, you could use incense for air, a candle for fire, a cup for water, and a bowl of salt for the earth. Take, to, take the new ritual tool and pass it through the scented smoke of the incense and say, then it has the, the incantation, then pass the tool swiftly through the flame of the candle and say, 
Sprinkle the two with water and say, here's the incantation, dip the two into the bowl of salt and say, and then after that, hold the tool before you with both hands and imagine an enveloping warm white light purifying the tool. Now say, then has the incantation. It's that simple. A lot of the spells in this book are pretty straightforward and simple. Now, here is a sun moon spell. Uh, light a candle that will conjure the energy you desire in your life and hold it in your hand as you say aloud. And then you say the incantation. Then you place the candle on your altar and let it burn for at least five minutes. When you tap out the candle flame, visualize the blessings to come. Again, the spells are not in this book are very, th this is very good for a beginner. So if you're a beginner, this is for you. Um, I'm, how about this one? Conjuring clairvoyance, open your third eye. Saffron is the world's most prized and costly spice. Ancient Persians believed it had the power to raise the wind and change the weather. It has long been used to bring forth intuition and heighten psych psychic powers. Saffron water is made up by steeping a teaspoon of saffron in two cups of boiled distilled water. Dip your hands in the water, touch your third eye at the center of your forehead and say aloud, and then it has the incantation. Having called forth these Mediterranean moon goddesses, rulers of, you will understand things more clearly and have foresight. That simple. There's, everything in here is perfect for beginners. By love, a spell for wealth. On any Thursday or on the new moon, light your altar candle at midnight and burn frankincense and mirth incense. Make an offering of gold fruit, such as apples or peaches, to Jupiter and anoint your third eye with a corresponding essential oil, such as mirth, frankincense, apple, or peach. Pray aloud and gives you the incantation. Then you put the candle in a safe fireproof place, such as a fireplace, and let it burn all night. You will dream of your loved ones, including yourself, receiving a bounty of material and spiritual wealth. Again, very, very simple spell. This is an amazing, cute little book that is good for beginners, um, experienced. Um, it, it's good. It, it's a good little book. Um, not, not one of my favorites, but it's, um, the spells are very easy and simple which is what I really like about it. So if I had to give this book a rating from one to 10, I'd give it, a, I'd give it a nine. It's okay. And it's a great little book to have in your collection. I do like the book and I have used it a couple of times. Um, if you have any questions or comments please leave them below please like the video give it a thumbs up please hit the subscribe button subscribe to my channel people um please if you ha if you already have the book and you disagree with me or you agree agree with me leave that below if you don't have the book yet and i've inspired you to go out and purchase it leave let me know if you don't have the book and this video has made you go, no, that's not for me, leave that below as well. Um, just communicate with me. I, I love a little back and forth. Peace and blessings, people. Peace and blessings.